Good morning, Oil City. Today is Friday, 8A, September 16th, and these are your morning announcements. Attention all students, just a reminder that you can now enjoy breakfast and lunch at no cost to you. So grab your friends and come get a bite to eat. Congratulations to this week's Student of the Week, Julia Surbody. Mrs. Stewart, the librarian, would like to create a book selfie bulletin board outside the library. She's inviting administrators, teachers, and students to take a selfie with the book that you are currently reading and email it to mstewart at mail.ocasd.org. Audiobooks and ebooks will also count. Mrs. Stewart is currently listening to Dan Brown's Inferno on her way to and from home. You say you don't have a good book? Then stop by the library and find one. Come on out and join the fun. The first TADA meeting will be 10th period September 16th in the auditorium. Everyone who has applied for TADA, please try to attend. You may bring your completed application to the meeting. Remember, all applications are due September 16th. Congratulations to the following members of the 2016 Oil City High School Homecoming Court. The Homecoming Queen will be crowned at halftime of the Homecoming Game on Friday, September 23rd. And your 2016 Homecoming Court is Beatrice Bassey, Amanda Espy, Hannah Hargenrader, Julia Sabati, and Taylor Thomas. There will be a meeting this Friday, 10th period, in Mr. Crocker's room for anyone interested in wrestling this year. Attention juniors and seniors, the following college representatives will be in guidance. On Friday, September 23rd at 8.23 in the morning, Pennsylvania College of Technology. On Friday, September 23rd at 9.10 a.m., St. Francis University. On Tuesday, September 27th at 1 p.m., Edinburgh University. On Thursday, September 29th at 9.50 a.m., Allegheny College. See Mrs. Bly in guidance for more information and to sign up. Please stand for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.